Tom. Welcome to a brand new week. It's actually Wednesday right now. It's Wednesday morning. And by morning, I mean like 1.42 a.m. Today, uh... Well, today I got up. I uh, didn't really... I'm trying to think of what I did before I started streaming. I finished Ocarina Time Randomizer. I had to use the spoiler sheet because I got lost, so I'm a little... I'm very disappointed in myself for that. We did get one decent uh, song combination in there, which we got the uh, the horse racing song for the uh, Ganon's Tower Escape. Oh, I hit 50,000 followers on Twitch. Um, I'm looking at it right now, which is why I, I noted that. But anywho, I finally got the issue with my computer sorted out, and it was the power supply. This is the old one. This is an EVGA uh, Supernova 1050G. Uh, I had, th I've had this one, I've had this one for a while, I think. I ha I've had it since before I got my gaming computer, uh, and it's been in my streaming computer for a while. I've, I've had the, this case, at the very least, for a long time. Same with the motherboard, and the processor, um, and the hard drives. I think this power supply was the second one I had on it, just because I wanted to upgrade it. I that or it's still, it was still the first one, but... Basically, what I think was happening was that there's something bad in it. Someone on, on Twitch chat, when I was mentioning it, said something about capacitors. But generally what would happen is, while it was plugged in, I would flip the power switch on here, which doesn't turn the computer on. It just gives everything in the computer power. The lights would come on. I would hit the power button and nothing would happen. On top of that, uh, well, you know, I'll go into that later. So I bought a new power supply. Put that one in my gaming computer, took the one out of the gaming computer and put it in my streaming computer. Um, and now it works like it's brand new. It's it's an amazing transformation. The other thing too is that there were a couple of, I'll show you right here. There are a couple of USB ports on the front. A lot of computers have those. One of those didn't work and the other one took a while for, uh, for things that are plugged into it to work. So I was getting worried on that one. So after I replaced the, uh, the power supply, uh, so they suddenly started working. So now the only thing I'm gonna worry about is um, where I need to put this in order to like recycle it or whatever. Because you can't just throw something like this in the trash. Like, you can't even throw a battery in the trash. This is uh, 80 plus gold, which is, means it was uh, the second highest tier of efficiency. But yeah, um... I was afraid that I was gonna have to replace the entire thing, but after putting the power supply in there and tooling around with a bunch of the cables, you can see on the floor here, there are just a ton of cables here that I was, that that were, some of them were completely superfluous. I just had them in there because they came with the old power supply. And actually, there's, I, I just looked back there and I saw something I wanted to show the, the vlog a little bit here. My dad sent me this. Uh, I He had it with him when it's a Christmas. It's just, it's literally just a, a little ball helicopter thing. It has a very low battery charge, but it's a lot of fun to use. Uh, it, and it's got a rechargeable battery that charges through uh, through micro USB. So let's see if we can get some good stuff happening with this. There's a sensor on the bottom of it. That, whoa, it's a little close to the camera. Or when you put it underneath it, it'll start going up again. So that's a pretty neat little toy. I don't know. Maybe I'll like let it fly around and give it nabbing voice. Ah! Okay, well, Navi just flew away. It's coming back! It is Thursday. Uh, yesterday, uh, didn't really do much. Basically, woke up super late. Uh, I think I did some back-end stuff, and then I went to dinner with, uh, Chilled, Gom, and Z, and Jess, and, uh, we were out for, like, three hours, just eating tacos and talking, having a grand old time. Um, then I got back, we got back around, like, maybe, like, 10 p.m. or so, and I took a couple of melatonins because I really wanted to get to bed early, and I did. I ended up going to bed around, like, 1 a.m., um, the thing about me and melatonin is that it'll make me tired, but if my body doesn't feels like it's not ready to sleep, it just won't fall asleep. So, I think I did get some sleep, but most of it was, like, 
in like a half asleep day's dream like state where I was just in where I, I was uh, very much aware that I was in my bed and nothing was really changing except it was getting slowly getting brighter outside because the you know the sun was coming up at some point and I got up around 10 a.m. and I took it very slowly <laughs> uh, like getting up and whatnot because I'm because it was just so sluggish uh, anyway though uh, got up had breakfast uh, and then I try to set up this thing called a, oh man, hold on. It's in my Discord server. I don't remember exactly what it was called. Called a webhook. I want to set up webhooks because, uh, that way, if I put out a video, if a video gets uploaded to my channel, because YouTube recently took away the, the ability to po automatically post, um, automatically post videos like video uploads to social media specifically twitter and that i think it's part of their deintegration with google plus uh so i created a webhook where whenever it detects that i upload a video uh it'll put out a notification on both my twitter and my discord and i might actually start doing the facebook page again uh because of that uh because what i had it before is that i would just have it so that twitter Posted every one of my tweets to, uh, sorry, posted every one of my tweets to Facebook, and that got confusing when it was like when I would tweet multiple things, or like go across multiple tweets to post something, uh, and I and then I just stopped doing that, and then I just stopped posting to Facebook altogether, and I'm, I'm sure like quite a few people still use Facebook. I, I might try to do something with other social media platforms. You know, Instagram and Snapchat aren't very good, uh, aren't very good for that because they're more image based. And not very good for promoting other social media platforms, so probably won't do any of those. But anywho, main thing I'm trying to get at is that I now have ways to automatically post my videos to social media. Um, I'm also doing that with uh, VOD uploads and when I go live on Twitch, but more specifically to the Discord. Uh, so I'm going to have it where when a, when a Twitch VOD I upload to YouTube goes live, it'll post a message in, in Discord. And whenever I post that I'm going live on Twitch to Twitter... It will mention that in the Discord as well. And I want to fool around with it, see what else I can do with it. Uh, the one thing I wanted to try with it is to see if I can get it to post... Um, I want to see if I can get it to post something to... If I post something from Twitter... Or no, if I post something on YouTube's community page, then have that post to Twitter, but like without the image that I upload with it. So like the post would go live... Then just the text from it would go to Twitter. And then from there I'll go to Discord and all that jazz. It would basically be like a, a link down to that. And uh, the only thing I'm having trouble with is with the one where I post from Twitch. Uh, I would post about Twitch on Twitter and it goes to my Discord. And I think the reason for that is because I set it where it's like a certain uh, certain characters will trigger it. And those characters are when I say like... AM, uh, AMCST, AMCDT, PMCST, and PMCDT because those are the time zones I work with. And, you know, just in case I happen to do a morning stream. And so whenever uh, Twitter picks up on that, it's supposed to post it to my Discord. And it doesn't. And the reason I think it doesn't is because uh, when I posted it today, it, it just, it, it was like one time I didn't do it, yada, yada, yada. Um, it was because I posted, uh, there was... I think, I think it takes punctuation into account immediately afterwards. So I would need to uh, switch that up so I so that it included, like, exclamation points or periods or question marks if I included those in there. Uh, so basically I've got, like, four triggers that uh, determine whether or not something I post to Twitter is... Uh, something I post to Twitter that includes, like, PMCST is going to go live. And now I need to include that with all the punctuation... I would normally have after that as well. So, like, it's going to be 16 triggers for that. It's going to be nuts. But, anywho, uh, I hope you all have a good evening. I'm waiting on food to get here, so I'm going to eat that. Edit up last week's vlog. Edit up a couple episodes of Super Mario Sunshine. I had a bit of a scare today where my GameCube didn't work. Um, and then, like, I unplugged it. Unplugged everything from it because I have the... the, uh, the uh, network adapter and the uh, Game Boy Advance player in that. I unhooked all those, hooked everything back up, and it worked again. The main thing that didn't work was that it didn't read discs. It could turn on, but it wouldn't read discs. It also had an issue reading one of the memory cards, so that might have been an issue there as well. It is Friday. Uh, today, 
Good news, my desk came. I still need to put it together. It's in five different boxes upstairs near the uh, near my office. So I think I'll I'll do a. a we're gonna show off a quick time lapse of me putting that together once uh, once I finish up with the uh, with this segment here. But for now, I'm enjoying myself some dinner. Uh, I ordered uh, I ordered curry, which uh, looks really good. Uh, tikka masala, I think it's exactly called with hot spice. So that's good. And I'm also watching some Gurren Lagann. I've seen this show before, but I've wanted to I wanted to rewatch it because uh, I hadn't watched it since uh, since college maybe maybe even earlier than that it was around the time that netflix first came out which i don't really remember when that was so i'm not sure if it was around when i was in high school or college anyway i'm gonna eat my curry but before then uh i but yeah gurren log on uh i watched it on netflix as well and the only issue i had with it was that uh netflix had a weird bug where one of the two uh one of the on-demand episodes repeated itself and it was one of like the biggest turning points in the show that uh that like that it skipped over i think it basically le went like episode like eight was episode nine and episode nine was episode nine so episode eight was just gone off of netflix so i never saw that episode so it was really weird coming back into the show I don't know if that's an example or if that's the actual one. But either way, came back into the show and suddenly it was like, what happened? But either way, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put together that desk and uh, we're going to have a good time doing it, hopefully. And it goes smoothly. Hopefully. done well we're done putting it together at least i still have to move it into place but uh yeah for comparison's sake yeah. here is my old desk probably about four feet wide and this is my new desk this one's six feet wide and has so much more room on it this old desk that i have here is so cluttered and tiny and i've been needing a new desk for a long time i cannot wait i might do it tonight it's like it's almost 10 p.m. right now. I might, like, move everything over to this desk tonight just because of how excited I am. And on top of that, I probably shouldn't have unplugged it so I could show you what it does. But, if you've never heard of Uplift before, come on, there we go. Uh, it is a standing desk. So you got this little control panel down here. I can pre-program it with, uh, with various heights. This is its current lowest, and it goes all the way up. to almost 51 inches off the ground. So I'd probably never have it like this because otherwise I look like a child. I look like Bongo Cat. That's me, Bongo Cat. Okay. Uh, but anywho, yeah, I am so excited to get this thing hooked up. I also got uh, grommets for this that have outlets in them. So that way I don't need a uh, as much of a power strip. Well, it, it's an addition, and I'll have to put a power strip on the desk is what I should say. I still need a power strip because I have to plug in the desk, and then the two grommets, and then everything else. So, yeah, power strips are going to be necessary for that. On top of that, this is a, uh, a dual arm, dual, uh, yeah, dual arm uh, monitor arm, dual monitor arm, whatever. It, it can hold two monitors, basically. And, uh... I want to uh, I want to get that set up so that way I could have free reign over the monitors, especially on the uh, especially on my white monitor over there because that one is a uh, that one's a drawing tablet, and I've never really used it because I can never find a comfortable position to use it. But with the you know monitor arm, I'll be able to like move freely without having to worry about the keyboard being in the way. So maybe at some point I'll I'll take up drawing again. <laughs> Or I'll use it for Jackbox games and cheat horribly that, you know, that require drawing, like, like playing Drawful or, or, or TKO. Oh man, but finally got this behemoth together. I'm going to reset it back down to one, so that way it's easier to move when I, when I end up moving it into place. Oh man. 
It's gonna be so good. Oh, I can't wait to get all this put into place. But yeah, um, hopefully the next time I come back, the monitor will be, uh, will be, it goes really low. <laughs> the monitor will be in place and all set to go. I'm excited. The monitor, the desk. It is Sunday. Uh, so desk is all put together pretty much. Uh, got all the, got all my, my equipment on here pretty much as, as good as possible. There's still a gigantic mess behind me and some stuff that I need to get like organized on here. Uh, but aside from that, I think we're pretty much all good. Uh... So yeah, I might need to get a drawer or something that's like much closer, but I got both my computers underneath there. My gaming one's on the left, my streaming one's on the right, which is ironic because the monitor for my, my streaming computer is on the left, despite being on the right, and the monitor for my gaming computer is on the right, despite being on the left. So yeah, there's, there's that whole shebang. Did that uh, the same night that I put it together, and I was exhausted, and I went to bed, and then on Saturday I woke up at probably around like 2... I wanted to get up earlier, but I didn't. Uh, you know, did did my whole shebang. I, I streamed. I streamed some um, a link to the past randomizer with crowd control. Crowd control is a fairly new app that just came out. Well, app I say extension for Twitch that just came out, where people can control your game using bits. And uh, the way that that extension works is is that the developers of an extension will get 20% uh, of all bits donated using the extension. So it's a really good way to like support independent programmers and whatnot if you're using extensions that, that go along with bits. And uh, and it was a lot of fun. The only thing I will say, however, is that I need to... Uh, <laughs> I desperately need to uh, up the price on some of the things because for the entire time that I was playing... I had nothing but, you know, like in A Link to the Past where you have, like, the, the swarm of cuckoos uh, after you beat up a cuckoo for a long time? People could buy into that, and they could buy into that for a minute, and one minute of that at the default is 500 bits. I severely underestimated my chat's, uh, like, want to mess with me, because, uh, I, uh, <laughs> the, from pretty much beginning to end... Anytime I was in the overworld, they don't have it set up so that way you can have uh, chickens attacking you when you're in uh, uh, in dungeons yet. They say yet, and I'm very concerned about that, but yet. Uh, <laughs> chickens, uh, where, was, where was I going with this? Chickens attacking you in dungeons yet. Anytime I was in the overworld, it was just chicken nightmare. All day, every day, just chickens. And it was like 500 bits uh, per minute of, of chickens. And it's like, oh, you know, they couldn't have put that much in. Like, how much did they put in? And then the initial number, after we were like maybe like three minutes into the chicken, into the chicken that, that I got from chat, from one specific member of chat, was like, oh, I put in 5,000 towards chicken attacks, which alone is 10 minutes of chicken attacks. I streamed for three hours, and for most of those three hours, I was getting swarmed by chickens. It was the worst. But also... It was a relatively good money-making venture. <laughs> so there was that. I was also doing using my standing desk for that, so I was standing a lot for it. I was also really sore because uh, Saturday I was I worked out. No, so Friday I worked out. I was sore on Saturday. Uh, which kind of leads into the next thing. After I finished streaming, I was playing Super Mario Sunshine. I was recording more of that. I recorded four episodes last night. Got them all edited last night. Set them up to render and then went to bed. Today's Sunday. And I needed to get up at around 2 to be able to, uh, because I need, or before to, uh, anyway, because I needed to do my, uh, uh, Patreon, uh, my producer Patreon, uh, Google Hangout. And in the past, I've forgotten about it. This time, it was a matter of oversleeping. I don't remember exactly when I fell asleep. I, the sun wasn't up, so it was at least, like, before, like, 4 a.m. I woke up at 4 p.m., <laughs> And, uh, you know, like, I, I looked at my phone, and I was like, oh, 4 p.m., whatever. And I was, like, scrolling through my phone, and I see a notification on my Patreon. It's like, hey, are we doing the Google Hangout today? And I'm just like, man! Last night I was thinking about it. Last night I remembered it. And then this morning I was just, like, in a fog at 4 p.m., and I'm just like, man, I really got to get my hack together on that. So 
I wrote an apology on my, my, my Patreon, um, you know, talking about doing it next week, but next week is March, so we're going to end up doing two in March, and i got to set those up, and it's just the whole thing. I still also have to record more Grug Nooks Quest, uh, which I might do tomorrow, because I want to get uh, further ahead in Super Mario Sunshine. I'm actually pretty far in the game. I'm less than halfway in terms of completion, and there's also going to be points where I have sort of roadblocks that are going to revolve around really long stints of um, not being able to get shines just based on some of the shines that you can get in that, like the 100 coin shines or some of the really hard ones like the pachinko shines. So I think uh, for the rest of the night, uh, I'm going to record like maybe three or four more episodes of Mario Sunshine, depending on how long they go. Uh, take some melatonin around like 11 p.m. or midnight and then try to get an early night's sleep. So that way I could be up earlier tomorrow and then sort of try to get back into a better sleep schedule. Because I have, for the past, like two days, when I was, for like, I believe it was, yeah, Thursday and Friday, I woke up in the morning. Uh, I never really mentioned that, but I did. I, I woke up in the morning, and it was great! It was great! I, I was so happy to have been able to wake up in the morning, but I uh, didn't do it uh, yesterday, and I didn't do it today, and I woke up super late today, so I'm only really going to be up for like another two hours, which would mean that for... That I was up for only eight hours today, which bugs the hell out of me. I really want to do more in the morning. I really want to, like, I want to be able to go to bed tired at, like, midnight and then wake up at, like, 8 or 9 a.m. fully rested. That would be the dream. I don't know what is wrong with me in terms of that, but hopefully some melatonin will help. Maybe this is something I need to go to a doctor about. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to uh, keep recording more Super Mario Sunshine and, uh... Get to bed earlier, and we'll hopefully... You know what? I want to come back tomorrow in the morning. It is Monday! And uh, I need you all to give me a hot minute to explain here. I was up in the morning, uh, but I was just sort of laying in bed, uh, like on my phone, you know, catching up on, on news and whatnot. And uh, so yeah, I, I did end up getting up in the morning. I wanted to come back to the vlog in the morning, but... My camera was all the way upstairs, and I just, I just couldn't do that, you know? It just, it just couldn't happen. So, yeah, last night I got my recording done for, I recorded four episodes of, uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, took some melatonin before I recorded the last one, and then proceeded to go to bed. Got up, uh, got up in, technically in the morning. Uh, I'm hoping to, to make that a habit to make it a little bit earlier each time. I was awake at around 11, and uh, so I want to, you know, be up and about at around like 10 tomorrow, and just keep sort of going from there until I'm sort of, I guess like up until at like 9 a.m. would probably be the uh, the ideal thing. Anyway, I'm about to eat breakfast, gonna get some cereal, and uh, I'm gonna keep watching uh, like more current log on. Uh, right now it's just a preview screen for it, so. I, I just, uh, I, I think I'm around like the halfway point of the series. Cause I'm right, I'm right at the time skip, and uh, then I guess I'm gonna get to work a little bit because I can edit those uh, Super Mario Sunshine videos. So, see how the day goes. Significantly later in the day, um, I got some episodes of Super Mario Sunshine uploaded for future release, uh, and then I streamed some Paper Mario. Uh, I've wanted to stream like an old game that I liked a lot for a long time now, and I'm glad I was able to start doing Paper Mario again. Because I haven't played that game since I last Let's Played it in 2014, so it's been a while, so I really want to get to playing that game once again. Uh, did a lot of voices. My voice is a little bit hoarse right now, so hopefully uh, it'll recover as uh, as the day goes on. As like, Well, not really as the day goes on. It's almost midnight, and I'm heading to bed right now. So anyway, like I'm saying, uh, it'd be nice if um, my voice recovered for tomorrow. Because I'd like to be able to stream that. I put my camera down, so I was just cut off at the top there. Getting on tangents here. Anyway, after I finished streaming, uh, got the the videos fully uploaded, got the metadata, all that jazz. So I'm, I'm good on Super Mario Sunshine videos for at least a week. I'll, and I want to keep recording further ahead, because it'd be nice to not have to worry about that for a long time. Uh, aside from that, though, I downloaded a new game that I want to stream tomorrow. Maybe, maybe make videos of instead. It depends on if I can get something working or not. But, um... The game is called Blade and Sorcery. It's a VR game where uh, 
kind of like the combat in Skyrim, honestly. Like, you have, like, swords, you've got bows, you've got knives, axes, things like that. You also got two-handed weapons, but uh, it works very interestingly, and I, and I really want to, to give it a shot and play it. Two things I'm a little bit concerned about. One, uh, the play area might not be big enough, and I might smack into some, some rather expensive things. And two, uh, I want to get a chat window up. Uh, that's like visible on the screen so that way like I can read chat as I'm playing the game but anyway uh, that's gonna be it for the week uh, next week probably not too much going on I want to see I'd like to see who's around to, to hang out possibly uh, oh and before I forget I went to Kirby Lane with uh, with uh, Z and Ritz uh, I had pancakes they were delicious I haven't had good breakfast food in a long time so I, that was that was good to have uh, next week, I don't really think I'm going to be doing terribly much, but we'll have to see. I might hang out with some people. I might check out downtown. It's getting into the spring months here, so the weather should be getting warmer soon, which uh, means that I could be going downtown at some point. Who knows? I don't. Do you? I'll see you all next week. Later! <laughs>